So today I was looking through the trending page and I saw this incredibly catchy thumbnail where some guy apparently takes some indestructible tank looking thing and does cool stuff in nature. So on today's episode of Ready Reacts where I bring the most interesting animal people and science videos on the internet, let's see what this is all about. Hi there. Hi. This is the world's most capable all-terrain vehicle, aka the Sherp. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. No. I'm pretty sure that's how people feel when they come across my channel. They're like, oh, what a great, capable YouTuber. But by the end of it, they're like, oh, what am I doing with my life? I might as well be in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. Ow. If we didn't have the shirt for survival out here tonight, it is likely that we would die. We're told that when nightfall arrives, do not leave the safety of the vehicle. Okay, wait, are they gonna stay in the puddle the whole night? That's uh, intense. Let's hope there's no alligators around. So currently the problem is we have no supplies, but our team has deployed multiple supply drops in the area for us to find. We have no idea where they are, but we definitely wanna find them before nightfall. Oh, we got a little treasure hunt on our hands. All right, let's go get our supplies. Ah. USA, USA. Bro, we almost hit a tree. Dude, this thing is so fun. It feels like we're driving on a cloud. So we gotta be on the lookout for some crates. We really have no idea where they are, guys. Like, they could be anywhere. We might go to bed without anything. So we gotta figure this out. Honestly, that doesn't look like the worst place to sleep for a night. It's a pretty big vehicle now that we get a good look at the inside. And you know what they say, it's what's on the inside that matters. There's a total of three supply crates that we're looking for, so we have to keep moving if we want to find them all before dark. We decided we're gonna get out for a little bit and uh, search the forest. You ready, Chris? Yes, I'm thirsty and I'm hungry. <laughs> Dude, this is sketch. You can just hear all the noises of the forest. Oh, so they're leaving the vehicle. Ooh, wilderness time. I hear twig snap. I am yeeting myself back to the shrimp. What was that? Was that you? <laughs> nah, I would do the same thing. I would be the guy in the back making like Yeti sounds and stuff like that, or like <laughs> whispering stuff just so he thinks he's going crazy in the forest. It's like, we're coming to get you. What was that? Nothing, don't worry. Huh? Who's talking? No, I don't hear anything, bro. You're going crazy. <laughs> Not seeing anything, bro. Well, you haven't looked for that long, Chris. It's honestly a little intimidating leaving the safety of the Sherp. We could get lost in the thick forest or run into some of the crazy predators Josh, the Sherp owner, told us about. So Sherps are the most capable off-road amphibious vehicle on the planet with four world records to prove it. Four world records, that's great. And I'm sure Sherp must actually stand for something, but the only thing it reminds me of is the Sherpas that help people climb Mount Everest. You know, the people who actually go in front of the people who are climbing it and carry all the equipment and everything, they're the real heroes. Nothing can do what these machines can do. So right now in Northern Minnesota, everything is coming out of hibernation and everything is hungry. Nothing is green yet. So there isn't really any food for them to eat. So they're going after anything that moves. <laughs> <laughs> You're likely gonna get eaten today. <laughs> this guy scares me. We got wolves, we got bears, we got coyotes. Even the raccoons get kind of nasty this time of year. So <laughs> you guys are gonna have some fun. I'm sure you're gonna hear some animals uh, sniffing around you. As far as I understand, the guys are doing a full 24 hours. Hopefully they can find some food. Hopefully they can find some water. Yeah, what happens if an animal gets to one of the loot crates before they do? Uh oh, competition. Then you're gonna have like an alien versus predator situation where they become the hunted. Um, yeah. Chris, I just spotted something. Right there, I see a little bit of orange. I don't know oh. if that's a crate or not. Oh, dude, I think it is, come follow me. Yes, dude, a crate, a crate, a crate. Yes, I think we found a crate. Oh, it is, dude, dude, it's a huge crate. Yes, oh, it's a sleeping one. Heck yes, dude. This is kind of big. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to carry this back to the car. Uh, I'm gonna go get the crowbar. Crowbar. <laughs> Are you in Minecraft mode? I am in Minecraft mode. Is there a crowbar in Minecraft? Interesting. Dude, how do they expect us to be? No! Oh, what is this, an unbreakable box video? <laughs> there we go. Wow, oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, let's see what we got. So we got some pillows. Sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, very good. And another sleeping bag. Very good. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, well, Chris, 
We got our comfort. Boom! This is a big win, but we need to find the rest of the crates to ensure our survival. We have a hunch there might be one around a nearby lake that we passed earlier, so we decided to set out and explore it. Good job, guys. One down, two more to go. The lake that the guys are going to be going on today is an extremely dangerous lake. Uh, at least three people that I know of have died on the lake, and it's surrounded by floating lake bog and bottomless mud. Uh, so in order to get onto the open water, they're going to have to go through that. And so far, the, the Sherp is the only vehicle that's been capable of actually accessing this lake to go out and fish it. Okay, wait, the stakes just rose. Apparently there's like some super hardcore quicksand. Um, okay, now I'm flashing back to all of the Animal Planet videos that I saw when I was younger that all showed how to survive quicksand. Not good when you're in what looks like a 10-ton vehicle. And there is fish in that lake, so hopefully uh, they'll catch something and not starve to death tonight. So we just got to the lake and there's something peculiar. Chris, Chris, do you see that thing? There's something out on the lake. Well, let's go investigate. If I had a guess, that is our next supply drop. So we're gonna go out there. I did not see it. Did you guys see it? Remember what the guy said about the lake. We do not want to get out once we're in there. And if this thing breaks down, we're stuck. You know, that's a good point, Jeff. I mean, can't they just swim? This thing can float and drive on the water. We're gonna test this thing out and see what it can do. Dude, here we go. Okay, this part is the bog right here. I guess you can get sucked into it if you get out. Bro. This is the bog. Oh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude. Wow. Look at this get sucked down. Oh my gosh. And we are officially floating in the lake. This is crazy, dude. Jeff, I really enjoy our adventures together. Me too. We gotta go that way to the drop. Let's go. Yeah, I was gonna say those tires are so big that it's just gonna float them over the bog, no problem. Science! There it is. Get that bag. I like how he bothered to put it in neutral or whatever. Like he bothered to actually change gear. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Are they really using the parking assist to help them get to it? <laughs> oh my god. You got it? Uh, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh, Heck yes, dude. dude. Tackle box. Tackle box. Gotta catch some fish. Barbecue. Got a barbecue. Nice, nice. Propane burners. Propane. Barbecue stuff. Oh, that's a knife and knife. Ooh, Holding the blade. Of course. This is for when we catch the fish. Someone's gotta gut it. Pots, pans, and plates. Ooh. Fishing pole. Heck yes. Well, this is like an extendable one. Sick. So we just got our fishing pole set up. We're thinking about trying to fish for a couple hours, and if we have no luck, we're gonna try to go get our water, but I'm hungry, dude. Mine's all set up too, so I'll probably fish out the front. If we can both catch two panfish, that'll be amazing. Here goes nothing. <sighs> all right, do these guys look like they know how to fish? Um, they're not wearing the best colors for fishing. Like, usually you wanna buy stuff that blends in with the environment as much as possible, but these guys, um, yeah. They're okay, they're okay on the clothing. It's not great, it's not great. It's a bit light. I'm just gonna see it. Hey, this is cool. Oh yeah, that was a good cast. We fished and fished, but didn't get a single bite. Our chances of eating tonight are looking slim to none. With even less time now, we have to make a decision about what we're gonna do next. Yeah, it might be that giant floating tank that you're in that's scaring the fish away. Just maybe. Well, this officially sucks. Please, fishy three. When do we give up on food and go back and get water? Yeah, so these guys are gonna starve. That's a very good question. Because what if we go and get water, but we stay out here longer and we get food? I definitely want to get water before nightfall. Plus, if we find the water quick, we can just come right back here. All right, let's just go get some water. No, dude, I want food, though. I want food more than I want water. I'm starving. Jeb, we'll go get water. We'll come right back here and get some food. We can find the water. We spent an hour looking for it earlier. Whoa, someone's sassy over there. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, he's getting cranky. He's tired. He's hungry. Yup. That's a speed run to crankiness. I win. We're fishing for another hour. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Boom. Two, three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. 
Boom. All right, we're getting water. All right, reel them in. We have two hours left before nightfall to find the water crate, so we need to find it fast. Our best bet is to trust we didn't accidentally miss it earlier in our search and explore the rest of the forest. Oh, they're not gonna find this. I don't think they're gonna find this. Where's this last crate? Been looking all day for it. Yeah, I don't wanna be caught outside when the predator starts to come out. <sighs> We really need this crate. We kept pressing forward, traveling in the Sherp, searching through miles and miles of dense forest when suddenly something caught my eye. Oh no! Did they really find it? Dude, there's a freaking, what the frick is that? What? Dude, what? Come here, come here, come here. What are you looking? Look at that in the tree, is that a beaver? What? See that? Oh, it's a porcupine! Dude! Dude, that's a porcupine! He's gonna shoot needles at you. Chris, that's not how it works. <laughs> this is so cute! How do you see that? Because I was looking in the tree. What's up, bud? What should we call him? Pokey. Hey, Pokey. Oh, it's Pokimane! <laughs> Please don't cancel me. After Chris spotted Pokey, I started imagining seeing things. Do you see it? I could have sworn I saw something. I think my mind was playing tricks on me. Dude, it's getting dark. Where is this crate. We're racing against the sun, trying to find this crate, but our energy is drained and we're running out of places to look. I wonder if Domino's Pizza would deliver there, because uh, now seems like the right time to make an order. Now with not that much daylight left, we have to keep going while we still can. We gotta find this water. I'm so thirsty. I need water so bad. The sun's almost down. Chris, once the sun goes down, we're going to bed hungry and thirsty. I don't think we're getting food though. We're not gonna have time to go back to the lake. I'm getting triggered. Keep searching. Yes, yeah, so they're not eating tonight. Rip. Stop. I think I see something. Do you, do you, do you see that? Water! It's water, Jeff. Heck yeah. Dude, it's a water box. Are they just stealing someone's water? Like, that ladder looks really conveniently placed. Kind of as if someone had stashed that earlier. Kind of sus, guys. I'm gonna yeet it down, should I? Yeah, just throw it down. Wait, what if all of our water explodes? Just do it. Dude, this is sketch as heck. How do I get this out? I'm just gonna yeet it, dude. Yeet it, bro. Oh, bro. Water is here, guys. Oh no, Chris, it is leaking! Uh -oh. It's leaking, why do we do that? No! Oh, he broke it! No! Get it to the car, quick! Get it to the car! Get it to the shirt, get it to the shirt! Why do we do that? We shouldn't have done that! We gotta perform resuscitation! Ow! Oh, we treat my- Ah! The man just ripped my beanie off! Dude. I don't know what kind of intentions that tree's got for them tonight. <sighs> Where's our shirt? It's not leaking that bad. Maybe that's because all the water's drained out. Don't say that. So let's see the damage. Hey, Chris, can you be a civilized human being this time and not and, and, and not do break it open like you did last time? Yeah, totally. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, Chris, he's doing it. Oh, no. Get that anger out, Chris. Get all your anger out. All day, you've been looking for the water. You've eaten none of it. There's just been none anywhere. Well, that's how I felt when I got three views on my previous video. Please subscribe. Oh, I hope this water's okay, dude. Oh no, it's all gone. Is there another one? No! Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh, no! Wait. Chris, it's dead! Are you Chris, kidding me? We've been looking all day for the water. You threw it off and it broke open. Dude. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that it broke open that easily. Hmm. This was an L. I don't know what to do right now. Well, Chris, I think we should uh, find our camping spot before the wolves come out. Finding the water crate just to lose it all was a big bummer. But on the bright side, we can successfully say we found all the supply drops. It's always good to stay positive when you're in a survival situation. Now we see if we can survive the night. They're gonna be sleeping out in the middle of nowhere in this wildlife that's just coming out of hibernation. Uh, but it's gonna be an adventure. They're gonna hear packs of coyotes yelping, probably some wolves howling. I'm sure there's gonna be some bears sniffing around their unit, so they're gonna have to be extremely careful with that. This guy sounds like he's speaking from experience. Hmm, fun guy. Ooh, this is it, half bad. Looking comfy over there, Chris. Honestly, this isn't too bad. It's not too bad. I was gonna say, I thought there was a tent and stuff in the camping thing, so I was like, guys, you have a perfectly good sherp there, which is safe and gonna protect you from all kinds of creepy predators. Um, why don't you just sleep in that? And that's exactly what they did. So, uh, good job, guys. I feel like it's just, it feels safe to me, you know? So just so you guys know, no food, 
no water all day luckily we have our bed so this is probably going to be an interesting night we were told that there is probably going to be wolves and bears maybe walking by so we'll see what happens might be hard to fall asleep we'll see i hope they close their windows good night good night well this is dark Chris, i hear the wolves josh was right i said It's crazy, you can really hear them. I mean, they, they seem pretty far away. Good morning. We made it through the night. I had a dream that I was trying to get water from people and they just kept giving me ketchup. Hey. <laughs> that's <the laughs> That's gotta be the most American dream I've ever heard in my life. He's dying of thirst, so he has a dream that instead of water, they gave him ketchup. All right, now I'm in the mood for McDonald's. Jeff, wake up. It's been 24 hours since we've eaten. We're drinking We won. We did it. Good job, guys. You did it. Thankfully, the shirt protected us from all the predators that Josh warned us about. We not only found all the supply drops and survived the night, but we sure did have a great time exploring and traversing the train in the shirt. Thanks again to Josh and Sherp USA for this experience. So guys, remember to stay hydrated, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I upload a new one. Catch you in the next one.